Next weekend, thousands of Minnesota hunters will try to bag a trophy buck. The firearm deer season means more than 150,000 deer will be harvested. But what would happen if we didn't hunt deer? Good question. John Lorson shows us why everything from drivers to the Minnesota moose population would be impacted. Pretty good shot? Um, no. For a lot of hunters, there's no season quite like deer season, even if it occasionally leaves them empty handed. If somebody says they've never missed a deer, they're lying. They're because, lying aren't they? because it happens. It happens to all hunters, but in a hit or miss sport, there are more hits than misses. And if the more than half a million Minnesota deer hunters decided to give it up, the impact would be as noticeable as a 12-point buck. There would be very significant consequences. Steve Merchant is with the DNR and manages the Minnesota Deer Population Program. He says hunting is the main way we manage deer, and no hunting would mean a dramatic spike in numbers. They'd lose a lot of their habitat, too, because they'd eat themselves out of where they can be. Uh, there'd be lots of uh, crop damage. Lots of uh, damage to forest regeneration. Merchant says disease and starvation would take over. Even the moose population wouldn't be out of the woods as deer would eat their food too. And he says we would also suffer. There would be a pretty significant negative uh, economic impact to rural Minnesota. I mean, deer hunters spend hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Not to mention the traffic issues. Right now, there are an average of 2,500 deer vehicle accidents reported each year in Minnesota. But Merchant says you can bet that number would increase for drivers. And maybe even runners. And skateboarders. Which is why the DNR hopes this Minnesota tradition continues on for generations to come. A lot of cousins, um, you know, we all get together, at least a dozen of us. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Merchant says controlled hunts in the Twin Cities also help maintain deer numbers here and stop the spread of disease among animals. It's estimated there are more than one million white-tailed deer in Minnesota right now. If you have a good question, just email it by going to wcco.com links.